Hi everybody, my name is Peter Meliar, first ranked and not the expert worldwide according to the website Expertscape. In today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, what we can do to prevent elongation from happening during re rehabilitation uh, from an Achilles tendon rupture. In prior videos, we've talked about why elongation is a problem and also when it occurs. If you need specific help for your Achilles tendon problem, uh, have a look at the description section below for contact details. So there's a couple of things that we can do to prevent Achilles tendon elongation. Now, the first thing just to go through briefly as a um, revision of some of the prior videos is that elongation generally occurs at two points during rehabilitation. The first time it occurs is when you're in the boot uh, and you're in a position that is not high enough in terms of um, up uh, lifting of the heel uh, or into that plantar flex position so your heel is too low um, so that can lead to elongation that can also be contributed to by uh, removal of the wedges uh, too quickly so we tend to delay the removal of the wedges there's no benefit from taking them out quickly it can lead to elongation the second time that elongation occurs is when you come out of the boot and you just haven't quite got the strength in the tendon to cope with the loading that is required for walking and you start to walk and then elongation happens then as well. So there's a couple of quick tips that I want to go through that will help you to reduce the amount of elongation. The first one is make sure that you do plenty of exercise loading of the tendon to get the tendon stronger when you're actually in the boot so you take the boot off once twice three times a day and you're doing what we call isometric holds in positions that are safe okay and that is up the heel lifted up um, and we tend to mirror the position that you're doing the isometric holds in with the amount of wedges that you have. So you're in the same boot position as what you're doing the exercise in as well, okay? So that gets pretty progressively lower as you go through the rehab uh, period. So that's the first thing. Make sure you get super strong, you load it well in safe positions. The second thing is make sure you have some criteria before you get out of the boot, okay? So you want to load, 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 get strong, and we uh, think about how much load the tendon has to cope with when you're walking. And we try and design exercises that are going to uh, also produce the same level of loading for the Achilles tendon um, before you come out of the boot as to when uh, you're out of the boot and you're walking around, okay? So we try and match the rehabilitation loads that you're getting with the loads when you come out of the boot when you're walking so once you've hit that criteria that's when you're ready to then come out of the boot and start to walk so that's really really important as well okay and that will reduce the amount of elongation so there are two tips that you can uh, think about to try and reduce elongation of your achilles tendon now one last thing is that you can also actually reverse elongation and this i didn't know until i saw it um, in clinical practice with patients that we see some patients will be elongated and then that starts to reverse and actually get better um, but it only happens in the first few weeks uh, maybe up to about two to three months post the Achilles tendon rupture okay so you've got a window of opportunity to really make sure that you get the elongation right um, so that's why those initial few weeks um, are so important. Now, I am going to uh, just mention one last thing, and that is tendon stiffness. That's a measure of uh, that's a measure of resistance of the tendon to stretching, and that is the only direct measure of tendon strength that we actually have. And it's something that we we're starting to use with some of the patients that we see in our clinic. So I'm going to do a separate video about talking about tendon stiffness, about why it's beneficial to measure with Achilles tendon patients. So look out for that one. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you next time.